Hello everyone, today we are going to use the line command in AutoCAD. And uh, first of all, you can uh, turn on your AutoCAD. You can type in AutoCAD and adjust the English. And when you open that up, it's going to be uh, in this window. And you can uh, click start a new one. And first of all, you can uh, use the command window. So put your mouse on the left of the window and drag it up. And then put your mouse under the window until the double arrow size is showing up. Then you can drag it down for with a few lines so you can see the command. So like we said before, before you start AutoCAD, you want to create new layers first. So this is how you're going to create new layers. So click the layer properties and uh, add a new one. So add a new layer. Click this button. And I'm going to call it as a solid line. So solid line. And we're going to have all different types types of lines as we move forward. So it's the white color, it's okay. And the tab is continuous. And I could double click that. So this is what I'm looking for. If they're not here, I could click load and load more types of lines. And right now I'm good, so I just cancel that. And I say okay. And I could also change the line weight by click uh, the line weight here and for the demonstration I'm going to change the line weight with 0 0.3 millimeters and say OK for that and then I'm going to make the solid layer valid so I'm going to double click this button here and double click that until the check mark is showing up so solid line layer is activated. And now I'm going to close this window. So as you can see, I'm currently on the solid line layer. And in the future, you could also have hidden lines in the center lines, all different layers. And uh, when you create each project, you probably don't want to create all those layers all the time. So what you can do is you can save all these layers as your template. So you could uh, click the, the application button here and do save as. Okay. And you could save it as a drawing template. So I'm going to click drawing template. So you could save it as as a DWT file. So I, everything dot DWT is an AutoCAD a drawing template file. And everything dot DWG is an AutoCAD drawing file. So this is a newer version. These are the older version. So in this class, we are going to save everything as the newest version because so for all newest for all new version of AutoCAD, it can always open all the old versions of the document. But for old version of AutoCAD, such as AutoCAD 2000, then that will not be able to open AutoCAD 2018 drawing. So since we have the new version here, so we are going to save everything as the new version. But if you are working on a project with a company, you probably want to check out their version availability and save as the corresponding version so the company can open your project. So we are going to save as a template first because we are trying to uh, keep our template so we don't need to create all layers all the time. Then you can save the template.dwt with your last name and uh, find a directory that you can find 
So I'm going to put it under my directory and you can find it yours as well. And save it. Then say OK for that. Then I'm going to uh, close AutoCAD and reopen it and find that my templates. So tap AutoCAD English. And now I'm going to uh, go to uh, open files and open my templates. So first of all, let's see if it's here. Yeah, if it's not here, then I'm going to click open files. And open my template. So it's DWG. This is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a DWT file. So brought me back. So I would have to go back to the directory again. So this is the templates that I saved. Then I open that. So this is my drawing templates. And then you are going to make some drawing on the template. But you don't want to mess up your template. So you don't do anything on the template and save the template. What you are going to do is you are going to save the template as a drawing file and do everything on the new drawing file. So you don't mess up with your templates. So I'm going to uh, go here and save it as again and save it as a drawing file. And go back to your directory again. So find the directory that you want to save your work. So I'm going to uh, so it's going to be a DWG file. And uh, so this is a drawing file. So I'm going to call it as demo class demo. And I'm going to save it in this directory again. So everything that I'm drawing is going to be on this file, demo.dwg. And I still have all those layers here. Now we are going to use different methods to complete this part. So first of all, before that, let's do some uh, little exercise. So right now, at the sandwich button, that is called the customization. So I want you to turn on the dynamic input. So here's a check mark. Okay, so click dynamic input. Make sure the check mark is showing up. And after that, a dynamic input will be on right here. Okay, so right now I want you to turn that off first. So click that and turn that off. And now we are going to start the line command. So you can click the line command here. And it asks us to specify the first point. So we are going to tap in 0, 0. So 0, 0. And hit enter. So this is actually our uh, 0, 0 is right here. Okay, so you can uh, use the mouse and hold the wheel of the mouse and move things around and zoom in and zoom out. And the next point, let's try moving to the right with one unit. So next point that we're going to have is going to 1, 0. Okay, so tap in 1, 0 and hit enter. So this is what we have so far. So you can zoom in by using the mouse, the, the wheel on the mouse. Okay. So next one, we're trying to move two units up. Okay, move two units up. So next point, so it's going to be uh, 1, 2. Okay, 1, 2 because we are trying to move up two points and hit enter. So this is what we got. So by doing this, we are actually using 
the absolute coordinate. So absolute coordinate means your 0 comma 0 is always at this point. So this point is going to be x axis is 1 and y axis is 2. So it's 1 comma 2. So this is a absolute coordinate. And if you paid attention, you may notice that the grids here, we set one unit right and two units up, but it looks like there are uh, two grids. So this is how you can set up your grids. So this is the drop down button and click that and do snap settings. And here are, you can uh, change your grid spacing. You, so right now it's uh, each grid is 0.5 units. So you could uh, change it as one if you want to. So I will just say okay with it. And now I'm going to be out of uh, this command. So I could hit ESC. And I'm going to uh, delete this two lines. Then I'm going to turn on the dynamic input. So I'll click that. So dynamic input is on. Then I'm going to draw the line again. So click the line command. And the first point is 0, comma 0. And hit enter. In the next point, we still want to move one unit to the right. So it's going to be a, a 1, comma 0. And this is the point. And the next one. So if we have the dynamic input on, so instead of using the absolute value, we're going to use relative coordinate. So relative coordinate means your coordinate is always based on the previous point instead of always this point. So for absolute coordinate, your 0, 0 is always here. And for dynamic input, which is relative coordinate, so you're trying to move up two units to here, then your 0, 0 is going to be this point instead of always the origin. So let's do it. So let's moving up. So if we want to move up two units, like we said, the dynamic input is on, so your 0, 0 is going to be here. So my next point is going to be 0, 2 instead of 1, 2. So if we do that, well, we get this point. Then if we want to keep moving to the right, let's say uh, two units to the right, then this is going to be my 0, 0 because I'm in a dynamic input. So my next point is going to be 2, comma, a 0, and do enter. So this is how it works. And now I'm going to be out of the line command and I hit the ESC key. So you may realize that I made the layer thicker before but it's actually not showing up. So the reason of that, so it was 0.3, so the reason of that is I haven't turned it on yet. So I'm going to go to the sandwich button again and check the line weight here. So after you check that, a new button will show up here. So I'm going to uh, click that on. So I'm going to click it on. So this is the, the line weight they are going to show up. Now I'm going to delete everything. So I'm going to uh, click the the place about here. Click it once and the, drag it up, and then click the upper left another time. So everything got selected and hit the delete key. So now let's uh, try a uh, practice. Make this part with both method we just said. So first of all, we are going to use the absolute coordinate. So if we do, then this point is going to be 8 minus 2.5, it's 5.5. .5. So this point is going to be 5.5 comma 0. 
and this point is going to be 5.5, comma 2.5, and this point is going to be 8, comma 2.5, because your 0, comma 0 is always here. So let's do this part. So let's go back to AutoCAD. So I click Run Command. So the first point, 0, comma 0. And my next point is going to be 5.5. Oh, I still had the dynamic input on. I'm going to be out of here and turn off the dynamic input. So I'm in the absolute coordinate. So start over. So line command. First point, 0, comma 0. And the next point, 5.5, comma 0. Mm, oh, I tapped the wrong. Sorry. So next point is 5.5, comma 0. And hit enter. And the next point, I'm going to move up. So it's going to be 5.5, comma 2.5. So I'm going to tap in 5.5, comma 2.5. And it's moving up. And the next point, I want to move to the right. So the coordinate is going to be 8, comma 2.5. And hit enter. And I'm going to move up. So move up. Then you could use your mouse and the wheel and change the space. So next point is going to be 8, comma 5.5. Then hit enter. Then I'm done with this part. So I'm going to uh, hit ESC. Then I'm going to start over from this point and move up and to the right. Then connect these two points. So if I'm still under the absolute coordinate, so this point is going to be 0, comma 6.5. And this point is going to be 6.5, comma 6.5. So let's do that. So I'll go back to line command. The first point, 0, comma 0. And the next point is 0, comma 6.5. And the next point is going to be 6.5, comma 6.5. Then hit enter. Now I'm going to connect these two points and hit ESC key. So this is my part. And I can save my part. Okay, since we already recreated the demo. Okay, so this is what I got. Okay, I saved this part. And now we am going to delete this part. And I'm going to uh, do the same thing with the relative coordinate. So if we do relative coordinate, then this is my 0, 0 at the beginning. For this point, is going to be 5.5, 0. And if when I move up, so my since I use the relative coordinate, so my origin is no longer here. So my 0, 0 is going to be here. So this point is going to be 0, 2.5. Because the 0, 0 is here. Then I'm going to be here. And after this point, I want to move to the right. So my 0, 0 is going to be here. And uh, the coordinate of this point is going to be 2.5, 0. And after this point, I'm moving up. So my 0, 0 is going to be here. And my this point is going to be 0, 3. Because this is 0. So 5.5 minus 2.5 is just 3. So let's try that. So in order to do that, I need to turn on the dynamic input first. So click that to have it on. So I'm going to go to line command and uh, 
start the first point. So it's a 0, comma 0. And then move to the right. It's 5.5, comma 0. And then I'm moving up. So since the 0, comma 0 is here, so my next point is going to be 0, comma 2.5. And to the right, so this is my 0, 0. It's right here. So I'm moving to the right. So it's going to be 2.5, 0. Then I'm moving up, which is uh, 0, 3. And hit Enter. So I completed this part. And I'm going to hit ESC. And I hit the line command again. And I'm going to start off here. So it's 0, comma 0. And I'm moving up. So it's uh, 6.5, comma 0. Whoops, made a mistake. So I'm going to redo it. So this point is going to be 0, comma 6.5. Then going up. So since I have a relative coordinate, so my 0, comma 0 is going to be here. And if I want to move right, so it's going to be 6.5 comma 0 and hit enter. Then I can connect those two points and hit ESC. And this is my another one. So you could save as this part because you don't want to uh, rule in the first part. So you could click as save as and save it as a demo you could call it demo 2 so they are not overlapping and hit save so you have another one now you could delete everything and uh, we are going to use a new method to draw all the same part so now we are going to use the another one that is called the length and the angle so this turns an angle, and this is the grammar. So previously we did x comma y, and now we are going to do distance angle. So the grammar is distance less than sign angle, and this is a reminder from your high school. So this is a zero degrees, and this is ninety degrees, one eighty degrees, and a two seventy degrees. Okay, so the grammar is distance less than sign angle. So let's go back to the example here. So if we want to draw this part, so if you use the the uh, distance angle command, you want to have the dynamic input on. Otherwise, it's going to be hard. So for this point, this is a 0, comma 0. And for this point, I need the length. So the length is going to be 8 minus 2.5, which is 5.5. Less than, so the angle is 0. Because from here to here, so the angle is 0. Okay. And after this point, I want to move up. So I need the distance, which is 2.5, and the less than sign. And the angle is going to be 90 degrees because it's moving up. So it's 90 degrees. Okay. And the point move to the right. So this is my 0, comma 0. And I want to move right. So the distance is 2.5 less than 0. And now I'm moving up. So it's 90 degrees again. So let's do it in this way. So start at line. So I'm going to uh, start the first point, which is going to be uh, 0, comma 0. And I want to move right. So the length is 5.5. Then you do a less than sign. And the angle is going to be 0. So you tap 0 and hit enter. And the next one you want to move up. So it's uh, the length is 2.5 less than 90 then hit zero uh, hit enter and then you want to move to the right so the length is 2.5 less than 
zero and you want to move up so the length is 5.5 .5 minus 2.5 so it's a 3 less than 90 and hit enter then hit ESC now I'm going to start on the other side so I do line command again so the first point is 0 comma 0 and the length is 6.5 less than so it's going up so it's a uh, uh, 90 degrees so do 90 and then I'm moving to the right so this is a 0 comma 0 if I move to the right so the angle is 0 again so the length is 6.5 less than 0 and hit enter and I connect the two lines together and hit ESC and you could save this part as your uh, demo three if you want to and save it and that's the three methods that we learned today thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye